Hey guys, today we're going to be making a music visualization in Blender. Now, we're going to use the volume of a song to determine how fast a video is going. And that looks something like this. For this, you're going to need a video and a song, and I'll include everything that I've used here in the description below so you can download it and use it yourself. So open up Blender and go to the video editing layout. Now down here, you want to press Shift A to add a movie and add the movie that you want to use. So I'm going to use this one. And it's just some clouds, really peaceful video clip, and that goes well with the Eric Satie song, I think. So zoom out a bit and just select the audio track, which is the one above it, and delete it with delete. So after you press delete, just make sure you click here to confirm that you're erasing the strip. Now select the video strip, press Shift A to add an effect strip, which is speed control. The last thing we'll add, again with Shift A and sound, is the song, and I'll include a link to this below. So if you press Alt A now, it's not very exciting. The song plays and the video plays, but nothing else happens really. So let's fix that. Go back to the first frame with Shift A, select the speed control, and scroll down here. You want to untick this setting. So untick, and it'll open up some more options. Now, you'll notice that speed factor says zero. So if we animate with Alt A, it doesn't actually play the video. And we don't want to fix that immediately here. We want to add a keyframe. So go to the first frame with Shift left, and then hover the mouse over speed factor and press I. Now, it's added a keyframe which we can use in the graph editor here. The way we'll do that is firstly by making sure we're on frame number one. Another way to do that is by pressing Shift left. And now we're going to bake the sound to the F curve. So press key, bake sound to F curve and select the song you want to use. One last thing I'll do is change this highest frequency to about 5,000. And this makes sure that only bass frequencies affect our song. Once you've selected it, press Enter. And that'll load it up. And it's now using it in the F curve. So you might have noticed that if you look at the peaks in the song, which correspond to the, the notes playing on the piano, the numbers on the y-axis here don't go very high. So the video is still very slow. And actually, you can see it's 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So it's actually slowing down the video instead of speeding it up. So let's fix that with a modifier. To get to our modifiers, press N and click this Modifiers tab here. You might need to update Blender to get this new layout. But in older versions, there's still a Modifiers panel, but it's slower down. It's not in the same place as it is here. So click Add Modifier, and add an envelope. Now, basically, what this does is take this value, so from minus 1 to 1, and it maps it to a new range. And that sounds complicated, but it's actually very easy to use. So all you have to do is add a control point by pressing Add Point, and then minus 1 and 1 are going to be transformed to these values. So if you want to make it, let's say, 25 times faster, you make this minus 25, and you make this 25. So basically, whatever you multiply these numbers by, you multiply your graph by. And now the graph is 25 times bigger than it was before. So we're going to hold Control and use the middle mouse button to zoom out. And this lets you zoom out in both axes uh, independently. And I'm also going to press the middle mouse button to pan our graph editor here. And now we can see what's happening. Let's go back to the first frame and animate to see what it looks like. Now, if you press Alt-A, you can see that still nothing is happening. And that's because Blender hasn't realized that we've changed anything. So we need to give it a hint by just changing something here, something minor, and changing it back. Now, if you press Alt-A, you'll see that it does move. Now, it is moving, but it's very slow. And that's because it's still loading into Blender. So we're going to do two things to help it out. First of all, we're going to increase the amount of RAM that Blender is allowed to use. So go to File, User Preferences, System, 
and scroll down and give it a reasonable uh, amount of RAM. And this is going to depend on your system. Uh, I'm using a Mac Pro with 64 gigs of RAM. 32 gig for me is going to be more than plenty. And bear in mind that this is in megabyte. But however much RAM you have at home, set this value to a number less than that. So make sure that there's still some leftover RAM for your computer to do other things. Otherwise, it'll crash. And just in case it does crash now, we're going to make sure to save our progress. And yeah, like I said before, we're going to press Alt-A to let it animate. And it's going to be very slow. But then once it gets to the end and loops back, it's going to animate it again, but in real time. So press Alt-A. And you can see it's really glitchy. So we're just going to wait for that to, to finish. OK, so if you press Escape, it stops the animation and goes back to the first frame. Now when we press Alt-A, it animates much more smoothly. Now these clouds are moving quite slowly, so I'm just going to increase the speed. And I'll make this minus 40 and 40. Now, so we can get a bit more of a preview, I'll increase this last frame to 1,000. I'll go back to the first frame with Shift left, and I'll press Alt-A to load it up into memory. So Blender, uh, again, the same thing happened that happened earlier. Blender hasn't realized that we've changed this speed. So I'm just going to change a random value here and change it back. And now Blender's realized, and that's why it's loading slowly, because it's loading this new speed value. So we're just going to wait a few minutes for this to load. So you can press Escape to stop it playing, and then uh, play it whenever you want to with Alt-A. And now that it's loaded, it's going to be much more smooth. So I've noticed two things. There are points where the music is very quiet, and the video stutters a little bit because it's still trying to slow it down. So you can see here, this is a very quiet part of the song, and the level dips below 1, so it's trying to slow down the video, and it ends up skipping frames, and it doesn't look very good. So we'll fix that with a limit modifier. So press Add Modifier Limit, and we want to set the minimum Y. So tick this and increase it to 1. And that just means that it's never going to be slower than real time. And also, you can see that when the song gets louder, it gets too fast. The, the clouds move more quickly than I'd like. So we're also going to set a maximum for the Y. And now it's flattened it because the maximum is really low. I'll I'll fiddle with this until it's just above this. So these first few peaks I thought were a nice speed, and that's about 10. So I'm going to make sure this isn't much higher than 10. This will be OK. So again, I'm going to go to the first frame with Shift left. I'll save the animation with Command S. You can also use Control S on Windows. And I'll press Alt A to animate it, and this will help it load in the background. So once that's done, press Escape to stop it. Save your progress and press Alt-A again to see what it looks like. Yeah, so that's looking nice. I think it's ready to render. So save it again. Zoom out here. And we want to find the last frame of the song. So we know the song is 5, 6, 1, 4 frames long. So we'll change the end frame to 5,614. And we're now going to render this out. So Command S to save it. Change this to a Properties window. And we'll change the resolution to the resolution of the video. In this case, it's 1080p. Scroll down and choose where you're going to save it. I'm just going to save it in the same folder as this file. So you can do that very simply by pressing two forward slashes. I'll change this to H.264 with H.264 for the encoding as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear your audio in the video. So MP3 works well. And I'm just going to change the bitrate 
so it's slightly higher quality. And this is now ready to render. So I'm going to have a link up there, so you can watch it back by itself in its uh, full form. Anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.